I enjoy ribbon controllers. But for some reason, the actual ribbons themselves are really expensive. Maybe I'm using the wrong search terms, but the cheapest I could find, even a small one like this, was for about £10. Which is, you know, a third of what I paid for the entire Monotron. There are a number of ways of building your own ribbon controllers, but none of them really strike me as durable. Whereas the one on the KX5 here is at least 30 years old and still works perfectly. I guess I wouldn't be so miffed about this if it weren't for the fact that you can buy a resistive touchscreen for 99p, including postage. A touchscreen is basically a two-dimensional ribbon controller, so how hard is it to use one as a ribbon? And the answer is, it's dead simple. So the only thing that's not dead simple about this 99p one is the connection was really difficult to solder to. I think that was a 0.4mm pitch. So I also got this other one, this was £3.50 and uh, much easier to solder to and also it's a lot bigger. So you've got two sheets of resistive material. Uh, one has rails going vertically, the other has rails going horizontally and that makes up your four wires. When there's a touch, the two sheets are pressed together. Uh, you're intended to make alternate vertical and horizontal measurements but for one dimension, we can just stick, uh, say, 5 volts there, 0 volts there, and either of the other two wires will then just give a direct reading of wherever the touch is. So I've drawn a little keyboard here. This feeds into an 80 tiny 85 running VUSB, and that sends MIDI data to the synth. It's just doing an analog reading and then turning that into a pitch bend value. <laughs> Okay, I've stuck the circuit onto a bit of perf board, um, and the touchscreen goes into a header connector. So the pitch bend range normally is plus or minus two semitones, and on most synthesizers you can extend that using the RPN messages. Um, I can never remember these, so uh, I made a button here, so you press the button, it uh, sends the RPN messages for plus or minus eight semitones. One of the things I had in mind when I bought these touchscreens was the possibility of cutting them into strips and making lots of ribbon controllers. That's nowhere near as easy as I was hoping for though, because both of these touchscreens are made on a layer of real glass and one of the resistive layers is just a coating on that glass. So it might be possible to peel off the plastic layer and cut it into strips and then put those strips against themselves to make new uh, ribbon controllers. Uh, I'm not sure. But if you were just to cut the glass, the remaining part should still work. Cool, well I hope you enjoyed that and I'll stick the source code to this thing up on mitzella.com. See ya!